Okay, uh, I thought I would do this video mainly because uh, I have had some major issues with trying to get um, sound out of some. Uh, I'm using a mic right now for a lot of my uh, videos, but it seems only come like it comes in mono, so um, not in stereo. So that'd be one ear, not two ears, uh, which is a little bit of a concern. Uh, I just want to make sure I have good video quality. So I had an issue with um, this was I think it was uh, what am I using right now? So iMovie. We're using iMovie uh, 10.0.5. Um, it was easier in the past for me to rip the sound out of it. Um, now, this is what I do. So I'll take you through the whole process. I've exported already the one video, which we have uh, over here. So I went up to share. Um, I exported the file. And this is what all that it was here. So anyways, it, that's already done. And it took a couple minutes. So now we're on to here. I found that if you actually open it with a QuickTime player, now we have it sitting in the middle of the screen, and you can actually export it as audio only. And uh, this is, I think, the way to go. It exports it now as, I believe it was an MP4? Uh, there you go, MP4A, or M4A, which seems like it goes well into iTunes. Um, I used a free, been using a free software in the past um, to split tracks, which was called uh, Audacity, um, which I'll pull up here in a second which was, uh, it wasn't taking this file right here. So again, this file, if I get some more information about it, again, we have over here, it's an Apple MPG uh, 4 file. I don't know what all that means. Um, I'm not very techy, but now if we go into iTunes, so iTunes can accept this file, and I'm going to drop it in. So it does take it. And here we have it sitting right here. So it was uh, lifting around lateral elbow. Or lateral elbow. Um, so now I've found that I still can't get this file to drop into Audacity. So I'll actually open Audacity and I'll show you. Um, so Audacity was a really great um, free find. Um, one of my friends turned me on to it, so I've been using it for a while. Um, so if I drop, try to drop this in here, it just does not seem to take it. It looks like it loads and then nothing shows up. So what I found what works is you double click on, shoot, this computer's freezing. So you double click on this and now you can create an MP3 version which drops in right below it. So this only takes a couple seconds. Then you can take this one and drop it over here and all of a sudden Audacity is going to like it. Boom, so you got it right there. Now we see that there's an issue here where there's only audio on one side of this here and the other side doesn't have any audio on it. So now the remedy is you use this drop down, split audio or split stereo tracks, and you delete this one. You click on this, uh, Command A is going to copy it. You know, you go down here, if you click in this region, it doesn't seem like it works well, but you click over to the left, I believe, Command V. Oh, I'm having a little bit of an issue here. Um, Command V is going to drop in again another one here. So now, if you look here, we have a left track on the top, and on the bottom we have another left, or actually it's usually a left track, but now it made it a right. So now we have stereo. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one more time because I don't know what this gap is doing here. These should be uh, tracks that mimic each other. So I'm gonna copy. Now I'm gonna paste down just below it, and now we have similar tracks. So you can Although I don't know the audio which is going on in here right now, um, I see that it's a very similar presentation. Again, this drop down is left track, so it's something you have to take in, to into consideration. So left track, left track, so you switch this to right, or right channel. Now we have both. So from here, you go up to File, Export Audio. Uh, I always tend to label it as a number two at the end, highlight this, um, and it's going to it's going to send it out as a stereo or a, a two-sided track. And then to identify it on the desktop, I mean, it's nice to have the two in there just because I know it's a different type of file. So yes, we're going to export it, and it's going to pop up here on the desktop right here. Okay. So I'm going to take this file, and we're going to close Audacity just because I don't need it anymore. And we're going to take this, and we're going to drop it into that same file on uh, iTunes. Now it's right here. When we go over to um, iMovie, 
now that I've found I have all the stereo or sorry I need all the sound I need but all this stuff is still on here if I expand the track this is all still one-sided um, it's only gonna play in the left ear so I like to go like this I highlight the whole bottom you leave all the start stuff on top aside double click um, detach audio then you grab all the audio and delete it now if we go over here to iTunes and you go either under the file or recently added uh, so recently added you'll see here is that main file that I dropped in here is the other one which is the mp3 version and here is the one which comes as two-sided sound so just drop that in there and you notice that it it matches up pretty much with all these clips here so um, even here this this all matches up I don't know why it's overhanging there but uh, what I'll do is I'll just two-sided or two-finger click split clip take this and you can probably cut it out um, there you go this works pretty good okay so here you go so this is your final product um, then you just share it file um, I usually put final mainly because I already know that I had dropped a file onto the desktop with that only has one-sided sound again which up here which I needed to use in quick times to get the audio to come out in the first place so um, that's kinda it here's the new one developing here I'll take all three all three of these I'll trash every single one of them to make sure there's no confusion and this is the one that I'm going to use on uh, on YouTube and any of the other social media um, aspects so hope that was helpful um, look at audacity there is a Mac and a PC version as, as you can tell I use Mac um, that's kinda it I hope this was helpful guys um,